Hey folks, my name is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. Y'all, I got a different angle. I got a new table and it's the same height as my other table. So I think this is okay. I kind of feel like you're, I don't know, from the ceiling looking down. <laughs> we might have to adjust it. I don't know. This is the best I could do for right now and it's as low as it could go. If you're on replay, hashtag replay. If you're new, let us know that as well. Hopefully I'll see your comment and I can wish you a, a welcome, a proper welcome. Feel free to share my video. Just helps y'all. This might be like a three-parter. I think we're going to do the second and maybe third part on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I saw something similar to this and I just couldn't stop thinking about it last night. So we're going to do it. But there's a lot of parts to it. But I think in the end, it's going to look really like it's really old and it's really cool. So, hey, Kim, how are you, my friend? I got some new recycled paper in today, but I'll show you that tomorrow. And we got two new uh, decoupage queen Easter papers, but I only got five of each or four of each, something like that. Hey, Terry and Jason, happy for saturday happy saturday y'all i've been so screwed up um hey char and claudia i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you guys this don't tell anybody else hey jess hopefully my daughter isn't watching or watches the replay chelsea if you're watching just mute this part uh hey bonnie it's my daughter's 30th birthday is today hey trish i usually have a calendar in the house i used to have it on the side of the fridge I walk by it hey Faye and claudia oh no what happened hey victoria so i have one in the shop now in the shed and I'm looking at it, and I'm all paranoid. Hey, MJ, like, I'm going to miss her birthday. Last Saturday, last Friday night, a little bit after midnight, I wish her a happy birthday. She's like, oh, yeah, thanks, in a week. I was like, okay. <laughs> right, I'm leaving notes all over. It's Chelsea's birthday. I don't want to forget. Hey, Jody, Cindy, Kim. So, haha, -ha, I was a week early. I texted her yesterday morning, y'all guys. I thinking today was her birthday. And then she's like, ah, uh, yeah, okay, one more day. And I was like, ha ha, just kidding. <laughs> just messing with you. Oh, my God. I really thought it was her birthday every time. Y'all, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Collect Karen, Angela. Hello, ladies. Kimberly. How are you? How are you? Uh, storm and nap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry y'all had a storm. Hey, Teresa and Glenda. Y'all. All right. So it's going to be like a lot of moving parts. So we need to get cracking. Um, hey, Nancy. We're going to do the paint inlay. And if I'm still got some gas left in me, which I should, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, hey, Toy and Happy Crafting Circle. Uh, we're going to go on YouTube. And uh, after that, well, I got to take a little break. And, um, oh, to be 30, right? I was hung over my 30th party, surprise party for like weeks. It was awful. Hey, it was good, but it was awful. Hey, Kim. Uh, you were watching Mara. Oh, is Mara on? Oh, crap. I, oh, it's Saturday. See, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, reckless vintage. Um, do molds on the YouTube part. So basically we're going to do a paint and lay. Then we're going to do molds in clay. We're going to have to let those dry. So we'll have to wait till tomorrow. I don't know what platform yet to, to finish it up. Hey, MJ and Natalie, thank you for the much for the stars. Uh, thank you. So we're going to use the, imagine that, the melange, the new paint inlay melange. I saw something very similar to what we're going to, well, kind of, it mine's different, but similar. Can't, same concept. Do you like my shirt? I don't, I think this is an old Bella Lily one. It's very comfy, but we're going to use the big honking rooster. Big, beautiful honking rooster. Now, I got this. This was one of the frames I just recently picked up from the thrift store. I took the glass out. It's on the side. I got it clean. Figured I might as well just um, uh, move it. But it's actually from Hobby Lobby. So I don't know what they ended up paying. I can't even remember what I paid, but I just showed it the other day. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to put molds all the way around it. We're going to go this way, actually. We're going to go this way. So it's nice and rustic to begin with because we want this to really look old. So we're going to use this... I need to get, let me take this out because we're going to need this because I, I wasn't sure what to put it on. So I've got a canvas. Um, you been wanting to try it? They're really easy. Like I said, it's, it's really just a process. It's a process. If you guys notice my camera's different. I got a new um, craft table. Y'all, my dreams are just coming together. Oh, it's like, I feel so blessed and so lucky. I, I always envisioned another table in front of my table so I can set it up for pre-record so I don't have to like, I know I'm spoiled. It's not necessary, just something I wanted. Finally got it, but now, oh my camera, it's the same height as my craft table. So I feel like you guys are hanging from the ceiling looking down on me. I might, the angle doesn't seem too bad. It seems like you can see, I might have to push you a little bit back, but um, we'll see. Y'all, the jacket. So um, if you missed this the other night, I've got two coats of uh, the Pentart textile in here, which makes it washable. So now what I need to do is heat set it. I'm going to do that tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to heat set it, see how it goes. And I'm going to wash it because I got to know, like, I got to know. And I know that's going to be everybody's, um, 
uh, I, well, the problem is, is I needed to go lower, not higher. <laughs> I needed to go lower, but look how cool that came out. You know what it feels like? It feels just like the, um, the rooster pillow. Like it feels like it's, it's leather. Can you hear it? So I don't know, but I think it came out pretty awesome. This is from the Melange as well. That's a paint inlay. If you missed that, we did it on YouTube, um, a couple days ago. There is a link on Facebook for it. So the big question now is, is it washable? So I just got to heat set it. And you know what I did? I screwed up big time. Like the most important thing you do is not put a sealer on it with a brush. You got to do some type of spray. What did I do? <laughs> oh my God. What did I do? Y'all, I'm dumping the rest of the, <laughs> the textile out on it. Like kind of dripping it all up, trying to use it up. One brush and it's smeared and a, a lot of bad words came out of my mouth repetitively oh 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 oh, like, oh my god what am i gonna do so i ended up like i managed to dab it all off and clean up the the the, the streaks that i made but it, you can't brush you cannot brush on it you've got to so this was late so i took it outside and i was gonna make a liquid um 50 50 spray of water in the in the poly i ended up using the spray can so we'll see oh we'll see but i couldn't believe i did that all right, so I wasn't sure what to put the inlay on. This is what came. I don't even know. I don't think this is a picture. I don't know what this is. Doesn't feel like a photo. I don't know what was in there. So I'm going to cut this canvas. We're going to use that. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. I hope it washes. If it doesn't, then, you know, it's a fail. All right, I need that. These are the same size, right? I was going to put it right on here, but I thought that might... Um, it might warp. Um, it was pretty cool. It was, I really had my doubts and I really kind of, we kind of just let it happen. Let me make sure this is big enough. Yeah, this is good. Before I go cutting it, <laughs> cutting it like I did last time, I messed it all up. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was a good process. That was like, okay, now what? <laughs> but if it washes, y'all, it's like game changing. Like we're doing jeans, we're doing it all. <laughs> we're doing it all. And then the picture frame, I did post on that. So I ended up putting sage green over it, left the pink. Just wasn't right. It just wasn't right. Terry said green, green. T Terry was team green all the way. She was right. However, I do think the pink behind it is a winner. So I just, it came together. And now I'm happy with it. But that crackle, y'all, you see my reflection. <laughs> so good. So good. So now I'm happy with it. And a little bit more dark wax. Just a tiny bit. Nothing major. Okay, so let me get, all right, we gotta cut this thing first. Let's cut this. How are we gonna do this? I don't wanna pick all these things off if I don't have to. I don't think I have to. Let's just cut, let's cut this off and then cut it, I don't know. Hey Juanita, it did come out, it ended up coming out all right. I need to get some new blades. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna cut I got these on clearance too. Like a couple of them had holes in them. It was like a pack somebody punctured. This one's all dirty, but we're going to paint it. So it should be fine. Hi, Evelyn. I don't use canvases too much. I'm assuming it'll be perfectly fine uh, to do a paint inlay on. And I also think because it's got that texture behind it, that's also going to help us give us the look we're going for. Um, but this is definitely going to be a, a couple step type of, um, a couple step type of uh, project here, no doubt. I decided to use clay opposed to resin for the molds because, again, I want that old look, um, older look, and I feel like uh, resin is a little bit too perfect for it. So, um, yeah, there's that. Oh, I don't think that cut through. I'm cutting it. I'm just get, trying to get it off this frame. I don't care what this cut looks like. It's the next cut I can't care about. Got to make sure I measure the right thing. Hey, Lori and Linda, what is that board? What, this? This board? What board? I don't know how far the comments are behind. This is just a canvas. This is just a canvas. Um, I don't know. But y'all, if you're waiting on some recycled paper, I restocked them today. And, um, hey, Janet, can you paint the paint inlay? Like, you want to put it? Yes, Jody. I'm, well, I don't know. I, I'm assuming you can paint the paint inlay. So most of the paint, in, a lot of the paint inlays are black and white or gray and white. Um, so Jody's asking if you can paint them. 
I would think so, but I would seal it. I would do the seal for the spray seal first, and then I, you can do whatever you want to it. But if you had, um, if you don't seal it, I, I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't use watercolors because the water would definitely ag um, uh, activate it. <laughs> hey, Sherry. Yeah, so now we just got a frame. Nice frame. I'll stick that aside. Y'all, those are pain to get off sometimes, so we're not messing with that. We're not messing with that. Okay. Um, all right, so we got this. We need this. This size. Oh, I should have cut that so much straight. Then I would have only had to cut two sides, but I did it. <laughs> uh, I did it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but kind of. Hey, Jerry. Mama Jerry. Um, let's go with the marker so I can see <laughs> I could see it. Y'all, I'm so happy with my table. I love it. I thought it was on wheels, but it's not. But it doesn't matter if it was, because not like I'm going to be riding it around the shed or anything. <laughs> hey, Barbara. How are you? Good evening. Happy day. Happy day. Oh, what? It's Saturday. So I haven't seen you guys. It's Thursday. Well, yeah, I haven't seen you since Wednesday. Oh, wow. So we had to go, we had to go into town and back to go to the DMV because... Uh, giving our stepson uh, part of the lawn business and one of the trucks, and it's in my name, so I had to sign it over. Y'all, it, oh, it was horrible. It was so stressful. Traffic was so disgustingly bad. Um, it just sucked. It just sucked. The round trip for like 15 minutes. The minute we walked in the DMV, this never happened in my life. We had an appointment. We were there like 15. We just made it. We were like 12 minutes early, and we weren't even done. She didn't give her a ticket yet, and they're calling our number. I was like, whoa. Ron is wonderful. He is wonderful. All right, let me see if I can hold this straight and trace this. But y'all, the traffic was just bananas. Like just, oh, I don't know if it's because I've been up here and there is no traffic, you know, and I'm not used to it, or it's spring break and snowbird season or a little bit of all of that, but my goodness, it was horrible. Horrible. Is that my shirt? Thank you, Janet. It was very, very comfy. Thank you for sharing me out there, Jerry. Y'all, ding dong over here. So I know what happened now. So uh, Linda brought it to my attention about my telegram uh, has an S on it and it, do it shouldn't. So I know what happened. So I copy the link from telegram and then I stick it in my notes. So before I go live, I can just copy paste my notes and plop it in the description. Well, the notes wants to add an S to Scrappy's Rustics and that's what happened. So it was working there for a little while until I, the S took place. So Telegram link is different. Now, if you touch my nose, you should be able to um, see the link to sign up for Telegram and it should work. It should work because Ding Ding over here had the wrong freaking telegram address no wonder why it wouldn't work couldn't imagine what was wrong no wonder why i couldn't google it and figure it out like duh operator error <laughs> what the hell like really stupid so thank you linda thank you thank you all right good luck cutting this right looks kind of cool looks kind of professional we got a little leeway anyways yeah i like i like the feel of this but like i said i've never i don't know that i've done a lot with these type of canvases to be honest with you I can recall. It works. Yes, Cindy. Yes. Thank goodness, y'all. I was like banging my head, like frustrated. Kind of gave up there for a while. Good Lord. How is, you know, how, there you go. Nothing's ever easy in life. The, the dumbest crap happens to me. <laughs> but I'm glad it was something simple. <laughs> something simple. Oh, glad she noticed. I'm like, yeah, that's right. I just copy and paste it and I showed her. And sent her a picture and she's like no you're you have an s on yours and i'm like oh so i look sure enough i had an s on there and then tonight like when i went to fix it in the notes it wanted to put an s on there again so i'll have to watch that i'll have to watch that s <laughs> that s is no good all right all right that didn't go too bad <laughs> as long as it's the right size hey pamela oh is this angle okay i really feel like you're dangling from the ceiling I feel like you can see okay, but I feel like you're, whoo, you can really see my grays now. My grays are popping. Okay. All right. We're good. Okay. So we're going to use the, they're, they're fabric scissors, like fabric people are probably having a heart attack watching me use them, but oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. 
Uh, this is the eight page, uh, the melange from the new spring release. We're going to use this guy. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, something naked turkeys. What? <laughs> what? My pieces are falling out. Hey, back roads craft shed. Naked turkey. What? Naked turkeys. Here's the one we use for the jean jacket. Look how much, uh, meats, like there's still a bunch of, so this has been used once. These haven't been used at all. You can see it's a little lighter. Definitely a little lighter, but not much. Crazy. Hey, Kelly, thanks for resting them scraps. I need to put this in the other thing. All right. The only thing I don't like about these is uh, you're hanging from the chandelier. Oh, that's funny. Wee! I don't like the way they're packaged. Like, I can never get them neat. Happy sp Oh, we got to set our clocks forward tonight, don't we? Oh. Thanks, Mary. Mary's on top. Naked necked turkeys, the turkins. <laughs> no, they're getting big. They're in their own little cage now. This one's really pretty too. That would have looked pretty on the back of my jacket. That one would look real pretty. I don't have another jacket. I have to buy one. We got two new turkeys now. Two white white turkeys. <laughs> oh boy, these are so pretty. So pretty. Look at the detail on this the fork. Pretty crazy. Pretty wild. Janet, no, these are paint inlays. So these are, we're going to actually, this is actual paint. Like if I were to get this, my finger wet and do this, it would smear it. It would activate the paint. So we are going to lay these into wet paint. And basically we're going to inlay it in paint. Probably be easier if it wasn't iron on, but actually it's really not a hard process. But look at those details. Like it's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. No, I feel bad. I didn't realize Mara was uh, alive, but what can you do? I mean, you can only keep up oh, with barely myself. Um, yeah. Is this going to end here soon or what? I'm just trying to make them neat, but it's not working out that well. That one's really pretty too. I probably take the middle out of that one. Probably take the middle out of that one. Good grief. It just keeps going. <laughs> it just keeps going. Ooh, look at that one. So pretty. So pretty. Um, I love these artichokes. Like, look how pretty they are. I love the color. I just love everything about them. I don't know what we do with the strawberries. Probably nothing, but we're going to do something with that. I feel like that could just be, like, in a picture by itself. All right, we finally reached the end. Yay. Yeah, I don't like the way these are. These could be packaged better. All right. Um, okay, so we got our canvas cut. Um, this is bigger than my canvas, but uh, white turkeys are so pretty. Um, they really are. They really are. You look at those bees. Yeah, those bees are good. Um, so this is bigger than our canvas. So I'll have to... Dang, I don't want to cut any of this off. It's all so pretty. But we're going to have to. All right, we don't want to cut his tail off. So what if we just go from the top? Let's see. Hold up. So we'll keep those flowers. We'll get rid of that. Okay, so I think we're going to do... Oh, that cuts his tail off. That doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, we got to go to this side. Oh, that cuts that flower off. Y'all, I can't win here. Hey, Junebug. Well, that's sad. That's really sad. Um, okay, well, there's not much we can do about it, so quit you crying. Um, quit you crying. Just is what it is. I think I'm going to go ahead and, well, maybe I won't cut that off yet. All right. Now that I'm done talking to myself, Delaware in the house, Ellen, Elaine, Eileen. Oh my good. Hey, Ari. Y'all haven't opened this plaster. I was going to use the ivory because I just like it, but I don't know if there's enough left. There probably is. I always think I need way more paint than I do when I uh, do these. I got to open it. Thanks for sprinkling. Y'all have great news. I think my creative block is lifting. Oh, man, it's the best feeling ever. I hate feeling like I don't know what to do. Like, that makes... I still don't know what to do. 
Uh, Janet Iron Orchid Designs makes them. IOD. IOD. This is part of the new spring release. And they can be used up to two, three, four, five times. Um, you let them dry after you use them, and then your next uses all depend on how the first use went, how much transferred, what color paint did you use. Um, each time you use it, it's going to be more rustic, so to speak. Um, so they can be used multiple times, which is great. Great, great, great. Hip, hip, <laughs> Yes, it feels so good. I feel like I'm finally like, I still have, we still have so much to do here and get settled. But man, like, I think the worst is over. The worst is, and I found my shoes. <laughs> I also found my bag of shoes. Oh, speaking of, I got the wrong shoes on now. Well, I wanted to put my other shoes on, but yes, I got shoes. So I won't have to wear Uggs looking like a moron in 80 degree weather. <laughs> Oh gosh. All right. I'm going to give this one quick coat of paint first. Um, just because that's what I like to do in case I miss. I had to oh, I'm sure that's what it was, Melinda. Like my brain was just on fire, like on fire. I've never had to prioritize so much stuff, um, in my life. Like it really came down to, I had so much to do, but we really had to regroup daily on what, what has to be done now, what has to be done. Like my bedrooms, our bedroom's half done because the bed, the bed we want to use full time is still at the other place. Ah, there's a brush hair in here. Um, just, you know, but now it's like, so far what we have organized, because like I said, this place is really tiny, but so far what we've organized is, um, uh, it's coming along really great. Uh, yeah, Rima's in my coaching class, too. I do follow Rima. Uh, yeah, I know. Shoes, they were, I knew they were in a bag. I, I had all my clothes, like, together, but the, the cargo thing was a mess. Excuse me. My husband went in there and organized it, and that's when they disappeared. And they ended up being shoved, like, in the corner of the corner in the very back. The poor guy went through every bin. <laughs> it was the last thing he found. I was like, oh, my goodness. I uh, just started sleeping really bad. Uh, oh, sleeting? I thought you said sleeping. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let me put some paint on this. And this is plaster. And I'm just going to put one coat on here. Um, so that way, if I miss... Because um, when you, we put this paint inlay on, we got to kind of work fast because you have to inlay it into wet paint. So this way... I'd say it, the very, it depends what color you're using, but I would suggest that you're happy with your paint job um, before you lay your um, your coat down for your inlay. Um, because once you put that inlay down, there's no going back, sees. I mean, you could try to paint around it, but there's no going back. Um, so there's that. So there's that. Now you certainly don't have to, this is just a suggestion. Just a suggestion. Oh, and when I was, if you guys watched me do that jean jacket with a paint inlay, I couldn't figure out for the life of me why that paint was squirting out the top. Like I could not figure that out. Well, what it was, thank goodness I didn't roll over it again that last time. What it was, was the, um, so we put three coats and I didn't really dry them in between. So four, actually, we put the textile down. That wasn't fully dry. Then a layer of paint, that was kind of dry. But that second coat that I put down was pretty thick and that, that was what was wet. So I put another coat over the wet and then we put the inlay down. Well, that second coat never dried and that's what it was squirting through. <laughs> I could not figure out what the heck was going on there, but that's what it was. So, so good to know. <laughs> I mean, in real life, you would take the time to dry each layer, but you know. In this fake live life. <laughs> Not fake live, but you know what I mean. In the rushed live. Alright. Let's dry this a bit. Just to make sure we got good coverage. And then we'll oh, get our inlay in. At least the Compton means all the prayers. Is that, uh... Oh, she is, she's a cool person. Lisa Compton needs all the prayers we can send. Thank you, Denise. Lisa Compton, um, uh... Oh my gosh, my brain just went blank. Um, I can't even think of her page name. I know it. Um, crap. 
Lisa Compton needs prayers, please. Um, uh, John, uh, what the? I can't think of her name, page name. I don't know. It'll come to me. That's unfortunate. Yes, prayers for anybody who needs them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, website, let me get a message. Would you... Who said that? Kelly, you put in hashtag website and nothing happened? Imagine that. Facebook and their old trips. Crafting at the Junction, thank you so much, Betsy. Good grief. Oh, I, I, I'm terrible. I'm just terrible. Thank you. Crafting at the Junction. Uh. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. See, everybody knows. Craft Junction. Craft Junction. Yeah, Craft Junction. That's what it is. Or maybe it's all those other ones, and I just call it Craft Junction. Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank Denise and Chris. Thank you, thank you. If you guys are YouTubers, I'd love for you to follow me um, on YouTube. If you type in hashtag YouTube, um, it'll send my YouTube link, which is Scrappy's Rustics, just like here. Because um, we've been going live over there. And, uh, ha, oh, that's strange. Um, so, there's that. Can one of y'all try hashtag um, website and see if it sends my website link to your private messenger? Uh, okay, that's dry enough. Well, that tried actually really quick. Okay, good. Oh, it's still a little wet up there. Hold on, let's move this up here a little. Betsy, thank you so much for the stars. Um, used to be Craft Junction. Oh, she changed it. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, or that's, yeah, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, too. Yeah, we've been doing lives over there, and we're going to be doing more and more. So, uh, if you like YouTube, on my phone, it's been acting. Facebook's been crazy, y'all. This is, this is one of my biggest driving forces for YouTube because I'm just done. I did it. I did it. I tried it. Okay, good, good. Oh, Bonnie, you got to do <laughs> your clothes. Hashtag. Thanks, Junebug. Thanks for trying that. It worked for you. Okay, could just be Kelly. Could be just Kelly. I know different versions of different Facebook. We're all having different issues. Like, it's stupid. It's just stupid and annoying, and I'm, t I'm over it. And instead of crying and whining about it, I'm going to do something about it. It doesn't even look like I painted it, does it? I like that color better. Huh. Let's just try it. Let's just do this. Okay. All right. Let's get our placement before. Somebody said that they, thank you guys for trying. Somebody said um, that they squirt the front of theirs with water before laying it down. Now, I ain't got the nads to do that one. I ain't got the nads to do this one. So treat this as though, like, you know, um, like a watercolor, like, the, the little the little round circles in your watercolor case like they don't activate until you add water this is like the same exact process it worked excellent excellent uh, it's okay awesome thank you guys you got a new update today imagine that <laughs> imagine that oh it doesn't make any dang sense what they're doing okay so i think because this is so large i'm going to do uh-oh I think there's wet paint because it just it just stuck. I think I'm gonna do all right. So we're gonna miss all this and that. That's fine. That's fine. Should I cut it off? Probably not. I think I'm gonna do this method. Uh, oh, um, I think I'm gonna do this method where I'm gonna do half and half. Let me pull myself down so you guys can see um, because it's very important that our paint is wet. And I think because it's such a large piece, it'll be easier to handle uh, laying it down. So that's what I'm going to do. The only problem when doing this is um, when I pick up this end, I feel like it gets weird at that crease there where I, where I stop. So maybe I'll go a little bit farther. Let's go to about there. That way, if I mess up, it'll be in between all this jargon. I work for me. I just use the words. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. Um, yeah, so also, Telegram's fixed. Um, it's not supposed to have an S on the end of Rustic, so that link is correctly in there now. Thank you again, Linda. <laughs> All right. All right, so here we go. I'm going to, you want to put a good amount of paint, but the whole key to it is um, your, your paint needs to be wet. Oh, geez. Your paint's got to be wet. It's a paint inlay. 
your paint has to be wet. Now you could use a medium. Um, it's the same process, but it's a little bit different. Um, and it, it, I think it dries. A, it does. I know it. I, I don't think it does. It dries much faster with a clear medium. Like if you didn't want to paint your surface, but you wanted to put an inlay on it, um, it's a little bit more trickier because it gets a little more sticky. Um, but it's the same process. And when I mean medium, I mean like Mod Podge, DIY Patina, Pentart, whatever. We haven't done much of that, but we need to. All right, I want to try to make this line as straight as I can. So when I pull this back to do the other side, it's pretty even. The thicker your paint, chances are the more wrinkles and the more rusty it's going to be, rustic it's going to be. Um... If you like perfection, this is definitely not for you. So this paint inlay might transfer onto the, <laughs> onto the uh, what do you call it there? The parchment paper. Okay. All right. So for right now, I'm just going to ever so slightly push it in. And then we'll finish up business after I do this bottom part. Ah, oh, I screwed up his tail. I cut his tail off anyways. I... Did it backwards. Crap. Oh, it's too late. Oh, damn it all. Damn it all to hell. I need more paint. Break. I didn't want to cut off his tail. what I do? Cut off his tail. He's a tailless rooster. Because when I was measuring it, I had it flipped with a paint side. Ah, whatever. It's done. It's too late now. Oh, it's too late now. Okay. So now I'm just going to go from this side down. And, oh boy, hold on, let me put this here, there we go, I don't want to get that wet, but I need to hold on to something, uh, there we go, there we go, I think, I think, all right, I like to use this brush, or a brush that carries a lot of paint when I do this, uh, Especially when it's a little bit bigger or it's a decent size it just puts more paint down uh, faster than you know like a little paintbrush chip brush would totally work like a big chip brush would totally work Ugh. falling off the table okay all right let's do this line right here this is where it gets weird because I can actually see one spot where it already transferred, or it, the paint already inlaid. Okay, I think that's as close as I can get without screwing it up. Okay, make sure this is wet. Hmm, there's nowhere to hang on to. Ugh. Come back here. Okay. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Now we go downtown Leroy Brown. Okay, so we're, we're inlaying paint into paint. We're inlaying the rooster image into wet paint. Okay. So it's down. It's down. It's just a process. It's not hard, just a process, okay? So now, I keep saying okay. <laughs> okay? Okay. Sarai, sarai. If you don't have a spray bottle, get a bowl of water and a rag or something. Um, if you have a spray bottle, you're going to want to spray this. Not soak it. But because it's wet on the one side, you want to get it wet on this side too. I should have cut this off because that's going to inlay now. Um, we just want to help it transfer from this side too. So I'm going to take my brayer and I'm just going to ever so slowly, lightly, just help it inlay into the paint. If you don't have a brayer, your wet paper towel, which I'm going to do in a minute, using it in a dabbing motion, will do the same thing. Uh, you forgot to share, you silly goose. You're just so happy to see me, you just forgot. 
you just forgot. It's okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my paper towel just to show you as well. I would just be dipping in this a bowl in a bowl if I didn't have a mister. And you just wanna not soaking wet. Just you're just trying to help it. And also, just like a stamp, once this thing's down, it's down. Don't try to like manipulate it or whatever because you're just gonna make a mess. And I think you'll be better off with it being a little crooked or whatever the case, tailless, <laughs> uh, than you would be if you're trying to move it. So just go with it and it is what it is. And I'm just gonna go all the way up since I started. I feel like I can't stop halfway th <laughs> through. And yeah, um, so the only really, really, really important part of this whole process is, oh, is that on there? Kinda, is when you're done, after it dries, you cannot, um, you cannot seal it with any type of brush motion, like zero. Um, because what it will do is it will activate the paint and it will smear it all over. I just did it. It totally does smear it all over. Um, so you've got to either spray it with a can spray of any type of clear poly, whatever you got. If you don't have the means to use like a spray paint, spray paint, <laughs> spray paint can, then you can get the liquid poly, um, they have the water base now and you're going to mix it 50 50 and you're just going to squirt it once that dries you can do whatever you want to it it's just that one very important step um when it's done because like i said any anything will reactivate it and it will smear it's kelly's crafty default oh maybe because of her business page okay if you're doing this at home let it dry by itself let it dry naturally um you, I don't want to say you don't get good results because that's not true, but I do feel like they come out a lot better. Um, hey, Vanessa, I do feel like they come out a lot better when you just let them, let the process, let it take its time um, just to like marinate, to, to, to transfer the paint inlay. Um, but we don't have that luxury. So your phone's finally working. Hey, Jody, Joanne, oh, Jody, um, but we're going to dry it. So it has to be dry. I'm seeing if it inlaid in the, uh... hey, Bristol PA. Good to see you, made by Valerie Ann. So it has to be dry. And then it has to be wet for you to <laughs> peel it off. Silly, right? So it's really not hard. It's not hard. It's just, it's just a process. Paint your surface. Once you're happy with the paint job, put a nice layer down, thin, thick, a little bit of both. The thicker, the more wrinkles you'll get and the more rustic it looks. Sometimes I like that, um, especially in different spots. Sometimes you can't help it. Um, lay your paint, lay in down. Go over it with either your brayer or your, um, thank you, Mary. Hey, Trisha. Uh, your brayer or your paper towel, whatever you got. Um, mist it and go over it like you first you want to put it down like you would you know just make sure everything's down then mist it or water it help it from this side let it dry then when it's dry we're going to mist it again and we're going to peel this off and then we're going to let it dry <laughs> and after it's dry we're going to seal it and that is it that is that's really all there is to it they don't take long i see my canvas is curling my canvas is curling when you go to take this off, this rooster is really good, even without his tail. <laughs> um, when you go to take this off and you wet it again, if you feel any resistance in any pull, stop what you're doing and just get it moist again. That's what it needs, because it should be a really smooth, uh, just a smooth process. Um, I know I've been dying to use this rooster, and uh, now I know what for. I'm gonna stop thinking about this one, guys. But like I said, this is gonna be a few part a parter because we're gonna take that frame. Oh, you can't see this frame right here. This was from the thrift store, but it was actually from Hobby Lobby. Um, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna put a bunch of clay molds on there, opposed to um, this is new for you. I got a fair, 
quite a few videos out there on how to do this. We're going to use clay molds as opposed to um, resin because I don't mind if they're uneven and they crack. I kind of want to go for that look. Like we want to make this look like it's really old, like really old. I think we're going to start out doing the frame and the molds like uh, a dark gray um, and then see where it goes from there. Maybe age it up with a white. I don't know. All right. Still wet. Still wet. Yeah, it's a pretty good frame. I got it, um, my last thrift antique, whatever that, when I wasn't supposed to go shopping. I ended up with all those frames. <laughs> I still got that handsome fella in that really cool antique frame, the oval-like one with the bubble glass. I don't know what to put in there just yet. This probably would have looked pretty cool in there. Actually, I don't think it's, I'm looking at it. I don't think it's tall enough. Hey, Gladys. Still need a little drying. A little drying time. Grab your Capri Sun Wild Cherry and relax. Enjoy the show. <laughs> My God, these are good. Tastes terrible after you brush your teeth, though. I don't suggest you drink them after brushing your teeth. Okay. Gotta be close now. Let's see. See how it's like opaque? Oh, it's curling up now. Oh, must be dry down here. It's curling up. Uh, it reminds me of. It does remind. It, it does look like the vanity door. My husband loves the door, by the way. I, it looks really nice. I'll take a picture of it in its place. Um. Yeah, the bottom's definitely dry. I'm gonna dry the. I'm gonna dry the top a little bit more. This is clearly dry. I don't know what it is with the tops in these things with me. Maybe I don't hit it with a heat tool enough up there. I guess it's when it dry when it's dry it curls. <laughs> well, the top's starting to curl, so it must be dry. Let's see if we can get the sides to curl. Come on, curly. Yep, there they go. <laughs> Look at it curling right up. Good grief. Oh yeah. I still can't believe I wish my daughter a happy birthday. Twice, twice on the wrong day. <laughs> twice. I even said to my husband last night. Uh, or the night before. Chelsea's birthday tomorrow. Uh, we had um, uh, pigs in a blanket and waffle fries. Pigs in a blanket. All right, I'm going to say that's dry. This is curled up. Okay, so now we're going to wet it. Okay? Now watch. You'll see how, see how it's opaque now? It's going to turn, like, real color. You know what? I'm going to cut this off because uh, I feel like... It hasn't transferred now. I can, I can salvage it. Let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do it this way. Make sure there's no wet paint. Let me do it this way. Like a shrinky. Oh, man, I just love shrinky dinks. I think, uh, I think they're back out, but they're not called shrinky dinks. I want to say Etsy. Somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, so if you guys were waiting on any recycled paper to restock, um, it's in now. I'll show you tomorrow. And we got two new Decoupage Queen um, Easter, but I only got five of each. And um, I think that's it. And, and two, maybe three new um, uh, recycled papers. We got a, the Seeds Hardware one. The train, oh my god, I'm botching, I'm botching this thing. Uh, oh, thank you, Betsy. Um, what kind of seeds, hardware? The train box and, oh, we got the spring blocks back in. I had taken that down. I, I thought she did away with them, but I don't know. But I forgot to show you guys, um, when I did my, my faux live, these little doilies, they they gave random, like, one's white, some are beige, some are this rose color, but aren't those adorable? I already got a plan for one of, you know what, I don't think I took it out of stock, but I got a plan for one of them. I hope it looks cute, but I just thought they were adorable. All right, let me put these aside. Also, remember, when you're doing this, make sure that your other paint lays, paint inlays are nowhere around you, because if you're spraying water and doing all these things, like, if I left this out uh, and it was <laughs> faced up, it'd be no good, so... 
your last order, everything was awesome. Aw, oh, thank you, Denise. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I was so mad. So last night, I was like, I had a lot to do today, like sit down paperwork junk. I don't like doing that stuff. I didn't do it all. <laughs> but it's okay, because tomorrow's Sunday, no mail. Well, so I was like, all right. I made myself pack the packages because I was gone Thursday. I got a couple orders Thursday. So I was like, I'm going to pack all these packages. I schedule um, pickup. Y'all, they never came today. I was so pissed. My husband went out and got them out of the bin. Um right before I came live, but I would have brought them to the post office had I known, but they've been here every other time, but they didn't pick them up today. Okay, so we're done now, we're dry. Now we've got to wet it because we want to take it off. Uh, we don't want to soak it, but we want to, again, if you don't have the brayer, use your paper, your damp paper towel. So we're just going to spray it. And you see how it went from opaque to kind of, you can see its color now. So what I'm going to do is take my brayer and I'm just going to lightly, now you may pick up some paint on here and it may kind of freak you out. Like if it was squirting out of here, you might pick, pick up some paint and go over the top of it, but don't worry about it because this is the back. Um, I know, aren't they adorable? I need to, I need to order some more. I wish they'd let me pick the color, but it was just random. Um, there's, I think there's one white one and then the other ones are I think it's cream, tan, and rose or something like that. Okay. Now I can see right here and up here. Okay. So I just sprayed it a little more. So I'm going to start to peel it off. Hey, Brenda. And if I feel any resistance, I'm going to stop and I'm going to moisten it. I'm going to stop. Collaborate and listen. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe I just did that. All right. So here we go. This is the best part. This never gets old. Once I get it started, I'll bring it up into your face so you can get a bird's eye view. <laughs> this is the best part. It's so exciting. I'm so excited. If I can hold it. Oh, I can already see it's freaking awesome. Oh yeah. Oh, all right. I'm gonna be able to get it started without touching it. I don't leave myself any room. Can y'all see? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get it, get a good handle on it. Like I said, you want, oh. It's going to be hard to do because it's so big. You don't want any resist. Okay, let me see if I can do this without mugging it up. <laughs> Trying to find a spot to grab onto. Okay. I don't know if it's going to work because it's not flat. Hold on, it's gonna dry before I get it off. Let's see if that, that's not gonna work, it's gonna fall through. Hold on, hold on, let me think about this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Maybe that'll work. I'll figure this out. This is not rockets. <laughs> I dry, I can have to wet it again. I'm farting around. Okay, there we go. Now that, there, that's. Oh, look at how this double. Oh, love it. Hey, Rona. Y'all, this never gets old. Look at that rooster's head. Ah. Look at that. So trippy. So trippy. It is so cool. And look how much ink is still left. Oh, oh boy. Coming to the end. Uh. Okay, I got a little pull, so I'm gonna get this out of the way. Oh, oh, oh dear. My rooster's hanging. <laughs> He's hanging. Okay, so we got a little bit of pull at the end, so I'm just gonna moisten it. Just one. I sounded just like it, didn't I? And then we're just gonna... And you'll feel what I'm saying. It, like, see how smooth that came off? Like, if you'll feel the resist. Just moisten it. Okay, so this is not garbage. This can be used two, three, four, maybe even five times. Remember, each time you use it after this, it's going to be less and less, more rustic, so to speak. Depending on, like, if I did this in a purple, chances are purple is going to transfer to my next project. Um, but this can be used again and again and again. So I'm just going to lay it right here. 
Y'all, this came out so good. And it's like crackly because it's on that canvas. Look at that. How freaking cool is that? I love it. It's so neat. I'm trying to see it over there. Look at the details. Cut his tail off, but that was operator error. Operator error. <laughs> um, this is wet. So, now... That right there is where I, 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 um, simply, st I, uh, where I bent it. See, that's what I don't like doing that, but you almost have to when they're so big. Can you see right dead smack across the middle of him? You won't once we get a bunch of garbage on there, but you, know, I, you can't even see it on the camera. But right across the middle, there's a line where I folded it, where I had, um, painted it and whatnot. But, you know, I feel like if they're too big to handle, laying something down that big flat is not an easy task. So I think you're better off having these lines than you would be trying to, uh, you know, put it all down at one time. That's my opinion and my experience. I'm quite the experienced paint handler in layers these days. <laughs> um, I'm so happy that this last, they're expensive. There's no doubt about that, but I'm very thankful that this last book they came out with has such variety and smalls like this is the biggest page there all the other inlays are like eight of the same pages well that's great if you're doing a wall or a dresser or something like that but we don't usually do stuff like that so i feel like th if this book isn't for anyone creative doing smalls and i don't know what is um because you know you get all those images plus you can use them two three four five times so I only think I have, I think I've only done two things where I've done a re, uh, use it the second time. And I think it was the rose chintz on both of them. On both of them. All right, so that's that. Um, so what I'm going to do is let this dry. We're going to end up dingying this up more um, because, like I said, I really want this to look old. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just set this aside. I'm going to clean up. Clean up. What time is it? 9.47. I'm going to take a little break, run and use bathroom. Um, it would be, this would be good for a furniture piece, absolutely, like the back of a chair or the opposite back of a chair. Um, and then I'm going to come back on YouTube. If you type in hashtag YouTube, it'll send Scrappy's Rustics YouTube <laughs> link to your private messenger. Um, and we're going to do the molds for the frame. And then we'll have to let those dry. So tomorrow, I don't know what platform um, we'll finish it up because I don't like to mess with my molds until they're dry. Uh, will it transfer if you use something clear? Yes, I just threw out, I had a bunch of sample boards, but yes, we've used, you can use a medium um, DIY patina, Mod Podge. I've only used DIY patina, I think. Um, yes, it's the same exact process because if you have like, you know, a beautiful piece of wood and you don't want to paint it, um, you could use the clear medium. However, it tends to like uh, activate real fast. And I've noticed um, you want to do water-based because um, I've seen people use, they've had trouble getting it off. Like, you know, how nice and smooth that peeled off. Well, the medium dries like harder, like a um, Janet all together. One word, you almost got it. Um, hashtag YouTube all smashed together. Um, they had a little trouble just getting that top coat off, but it totally works. Yes, it does. We need to do more of the clear. I've only done it like twice. I did it on fabric and something else. I think just a tag or something like that. I don't know. And um, this is an IOD uh, inlay. So if you type in hashtag website, that will send scrappiesrustics.com to your private messenger if you are looking to shop. <laughs> looking to shop. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do that. Like I said, I don't like messing with my molds until they're they're hardened up because that way we can do whatever we want to them and uh, not worry about mucking up the detail. Muck, I said, muck with an M. <laughs> that sounded like something else, but that's not what I said. So yeah, we're going to use the air dry clay. We're going to use some vintage textures. And I've got these three molds out because I feel like these kind of go with that, the vibe we're going for. So I've got the acanthus scroll. I don't know what we're going to use. Probably... I don't know. The canthus scroll, the uh, classic elements, 
And then lastly, <laughs> there's our blob of resin from the other night. I want to use these for sure. These ones here from the Olive Crest. So but we're going to use clay. So that's going to take a minute um, to, to do. And the reason I'm using clay is because I want it to look more, more old. <laughs> more old. All right, you guys, I hope I see you on YouTube here shortly. Shouldn't be that long. Maybe tops 15 minutes. Probably not even that long. But um, thanks a lot. If I don't see you over there, I'll see you soon.